In 2021, Red Bull finally managed to start the season strongly enough to be a world championship threat. This reversed the trend of many years when it started badly and allowed Mercedes to run away with it. Red Bull Chief Technical Officer Adrian Newey recently offered an insight into the key decision that has underpinned the revival of the team as a title threat. But how much is down to the changes Red Bull made with its RB16B, and how much is it down to the controversial aerodynamic rule tweaks? Let us know in the comments below how you think Red Bull has returned to title challenging form this year, and whether it will be Max Verstappen or Lewis Hamilton that will go on to win the World Championship. In 2020, Red Bull took a consciously aggressive approach with the design of the RB16. Changes were made all around the car, partly to fix the weakness of the 2019 machine when the team was tripped up by the front wing rule changes, but the most significant change was the switch to the Mercedes-style narrow nose with a revised cape arrangement to work with it. This also required changes to the steering system, with the steering gear and reservoirs moved forward. The objective was to deliver energised airflow to the barge boards earlier, following the trend that has become de rigueur in Formula 1. But last year, getting these areas to work together properly and present the airflow to the underfloor as hoped appears to have been the main challenge over the season. So even though Red Bull unlocked more potential, it also hit some problems. The car produced good downforce, but during pre-season testing it became clear all wasn't right, with both Verstappen and Alex Albon suffering spins. The reason was what the team described as some correlation issues that created a misunderstanding of the car behaviour. This led to problems in the fast corners early in the season, but during the early races a decent compromise was gradually struck to create a better balanced car. The trade-off was that Red Bull had to sacrifice some of its strength in the lower and medium speed corners to achieve that. While Mercedes introduced its final significant upgrade in the seventh race of the season, Red Bull kept developing the 2020 car all the way to the end of the season. That paid off, with Red Bull closing the gap as the season progressed, as is shown by this look at its performance difference that reduces in each block of races as the year goes on. There was a major mechanical upgrade at the Nürburgring, then slots were added to the undernose cape at the Turkish Grand Prix to improve the low speed characteristics by improving the quality of airflow to the floor. All of that meant Red Bull was able to outpace Mercedes in qualifying and the race to take its only victory of the season that was based on an outright speed advantage in the season ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, courtesy of Max Verstappen. The key challenge was to carry that strong relative pace into 2021. Red Bull's main challenge for 2021 was taking a car that was largely frozen and deploying its two permitted upgrade tokens to turn a car concept that it believed was fundamentally the right one into one that no longer carried limitations. The stakes were high, given the team was confident that its high-rate concept had greater overall potential than the Mercedes design. According to Chief Technical Officer Adrian Newey, the decision to spend those upgrade tokens on a new gearbox casing in order to allow it to modify its rear suspension has been key to its 2021 success. This is not so much about the way the gearbox works, but because it allowed Red Bull to change the rear suspension pickup points that are on the gearbox. The rear suspension external parts were free to change as they weren't locked until the first race of the season, meaning it was possible to adopt the swept back rear suspension design that Mercedes had pioneered in 2020. In order to achieve this, the traditional front and rear leg of the lower wishbone are flipped with what is now the forward leg behind the drive shaft. This is done to reduce the blockage between the tyre and the body profile and also set up more of a turning moment in the airflow rearward of the drive shaft to help the diffuser performance. In short, it's all about clearing space to increase the downforce generating potential of the rear of the car. While Red Bull couldn't exactly match the Mercedes design given the necessary changes to the rear crash structure required the spending of further upgrade tokens that it did not have available, this was an intelligent way to make the changes given the unique restrictions on car development. The other important factor in Red Bull's improvement was what Newey described as a mid-sized regulation change. 
This was a set of four aerodynamic tweaks made to prevent rising downforce levels overpowering the Pirelli tyres, which were being carried over almost unchanged for a third consecutive season. These changes were the triangular cut in the floor, the elimination of the slots in the floor, the shortening of the rear diffuser strakes and the cutting back of the winglets on the lower part of the rear brake ducts. Newey has said that Red Bull got the necessary re-optimisation right. That said, if you ask Mercedes or Aston Martin, they argue that the changes hurt the lower rate concepts of their cars and played to the high rate Red Bull. Mercedes and Aston Martin potentially have a point, given the greater the volume under the floor, the more powerful the underfloor can potentially be. But it's worth noting that Red Bull was adamant that its high rate concept had the greater potential even before the regulation changes, so that's also played a part in its pace this year. Heading into the second half of the 2021 season, the battle between Red Bull and Mercedes has been very close. Red Bull has won six races to the four triumphs from Mercedes and also has a 5-4 advantage when it comes to pole positions. While Mercedes and Hamilton have the lead of the Constructors and Drivers' Championships, the Red Bull has been the faster car, by a grand total of 12 thousandths of 1% on average. The performance swings through the year have ensured the battle for the World Championship has been a dramatic one. Red Bull set the pace in the Bahrain season opener, which owed much to Honda's major step forward with its engine package, despite Hamilton and Mercedes taking an unexpected victory thanks to seizing the strategic initiative, with Verstappen taking the first win for Red Bull at Imola. But after a pair of Hamilton wins in Portugal and Spain, it seemed the performance pendulum had swung in a very familiar direction. But Red Bull dominated the next four races, with only a tyre blowout in Baku stopping Verstappen from taking four wins in a row. At Silverstone, Hamilton and Mercedes set the qualifying pace but were flattered by the dropping temperatures in the evening qualifying session that meant Red Bull couldn't get the front tyres in the right temperature operating window and the controversial nature of his victory after hitting Verstappen at Cops Corner on the opening lap of the Grand Prix. But at Silverstone, Mercedes also introduced its last major upgrade of the season, which included floor and bargeboard tweaks, as well as modifications to the front and rear cake tins. Despite expectations it would be a Red Bull track, Mercedes set the pace at the Hungaroring, even though the first corner chaos and Hamilton's troubled race allowed Alpine and Esteban Ocon to take a shock victory. Most still suspect the Red Bull will more frequently have the edge in the second half of the season, but as Hungary proved, expectations can be confounded, and frequently have been during 2021. What's clear is that Red Bull has taken a big step forward in 2021, primarily thanks to the decision to spend its upgrade tokens on the gearbox casing change to make it possible to integrate the new rear suspension concept. What's less sure is if it will be able to convert that step forward into its first World Championships since 2013. Let us know in the comments if you think Red Bull will have the pace to overhaul Mercedes in the second half of the 2021 season. And if you enjoyed this look at the reasons for Red Bull's improvements, make sure you like and subscribe.